just got way sexier up in here. Yes, it did. Twitch.tv slash Dallas Fan Cam. And give a warm, warm welcome to uh, the newest member of the Dallas Cowboys, Mr. Ryan Nall, running back, Oregon State, Chicago Bear, and now a Dallas bleeping Cowboys. He's repping the star on his head right now. Did you just get out of practice today, right? We had OTAs today. Oh, God. This is, this is not your fault, Ryan. Uh, who do we have to blame back there, Medford? That is was it a Medford you, moment. or is it uh, is it just a I technological? Think, I think, uh, think Ruben might be back here. Okay, uh -oh, yeah, Pedro. Uh -oh. Pedro's bleeping Pedro things up. Pedro under the bus from, already. From yeah. The distance. yeah, it's on Pedro. All no, right, Ryan, let's you're see. good. He uh, he did not turn your mic on, but now we can hear you loud. loud there and clear. we go. Yeah. All right, you guys got me. We got you. We got you. Yes. Okay. OTAs today. Today's yes. day one, right? Yes. So how are we feeling? Good. Good. It was a good day. You know, they always kind of. Don't want to kill you your first day right so easy into it a little bit but it was a good day got to meet a lot of the players and everything like that so um yeah it's exciting nice okay so you met a lot of the players today obviously yeah. that would make sense now did you have anybody you were familiar with on the roster like you became a dallas cowboy you're texting with your buddies are you linking up with anybody like what's that look like for you yeah i knew i surprisingly knew a couple of guys um you know for, who played with the bears previously or, or, or spent some time there um but you know osa odigizua he's from portland and okay and yeah we actually we got the same trainer whenever he comes back back home we, we work out together sometimes and and uh so he was you know he's one of the guys kind of you know talk to first and you know got some you know hey what's what to expect nice kind of stuff, so. oh i feel like walchuk already feels like this interview right here is already better than the one that he did with osa uh, <laughs> well okay now i will in osa's defense <laughs> his was like at 8 a.m in the morning and i think he had just woke up we were filling in on the morning show and yeah. i think it was one of those where we just caught osa at a bad time oh it was yeah. so funny just right out of bed <laughs> and it's it's one of those things where you know it's two or three word answers so i'm sure if we got osa again yeah. it, it'd be much different but you're also a big gamer so yeah. we hear well, now bit. we've had uh simi fahoko on okay. who is the cowboys receiver went to stanford also a west coast guy uh -huh. and uh dalton schultz mm -hmm. cowboys tight end also a stanford dude uh -huh. both also fellow big gamers you might be able to link up with them but what uh what what's up with you in the gaming scene you're you might have them because are you a member of an esports team uh kind of <laughs> I mean, I just, I mean, didn't really sign nothing, nothing official, nothing like that. But, uh, you know, this group, Chicago Night Pack, they, you know, they got, they, you know, got interest in her word of me being a streamer and stuff like that. And, and they're kind of a new upcoming group that in, in based out of Chicago that, um, you know, that wanted guys like me streamers and try to just build their brand and stuff and, and linked up with them shortly, you know, after the season and, and um, not too long ago and, and kind of got with them. So, um, you know, it's not like I got set schedules or anything like that to be streaming and stuff. I don't even have my PC set up out here yet. You know, I got my PlayStation 5 or right. whatever. So um, it's kind of just more of of uh, just, you know, leisure. <laughs> so what do you like to play? Uh, definitely, definitely Call of Duty. Um, big fan of Rocket League. I don't play it as often as I'd like, but, you know, it's got a soft spot in the heart. And, uh, you know, a little bit of Fortnite. Not so much anymore. What about uh, any sports games? Madden, FIFA, NHL, NBA 2K? Uh, a little bit of 2K. Uh, I don't really play Madden, uh, you know, anymore. I kind of, you know, I live it. So it's, it's right. kind of one of those things. Uh, where, you would think that would make it way more, <laughs> way more kind of badass to play with yourself, right? It is. It is. And I do. And I do. And it's exciting. Um, but sometimes, you know, video games is an escape sometimes, you know, right? And when you're playing the game too much, you get wrapped up in it. That's, I hear why, you. I, that's why I like to play Call of Duty, you know? It, you just go shoot some guns at some people and you, <laughs> yeah. you, you get to kind of escape. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. It's uh, Cowboys running back Ryan Null with us here in the nosebleed seats. All right, so how would you how would you describe the Ryan Null game to a fan that is curious to the new addition to the roster? Well, I'm assuming you're talking about the football game. I'm, I'm talking about <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm talking about what you're trying to get away from well, when you're shooting yeah, well, the uh, Call of yeah. Duty. Um, yeah, I mean, you, you guys can expect you know someone who plays hard, runs hard. Fast, faster than you think. Um, got a little bit of agility to him too, and and you know just kind of just kind of an overall, you know, well-rounded player. You know, not gonna not gonna quit and and just give everything he's got. Have you ever been described as a lunch pail guy? As a lunch pail guy, you know, guy that goes to work every day and, and <laughs> yeah. put the hard hat on. Yeah, yeah. I'd say so. <laughs> yeah. I got a feeling that's been thrown around that's your been way thrown for around a... once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's awesome. That's awesome. So. Um, Okay, very good. Now, are we doing now? It's it's running back. Okay, it's not fullback. It's running back. Oh, I mean, or is it a little bit of is it a little bit of hybrid cross? Yeah, it's a little bit a little bit of whatever they need, right? 
Okay. Uh, you know, I've done uh, with the Bears. I've done some fullback. I've done some H back. I've done a um, little bit, a little bit of everything with them. Uh, primarily running back. Uh, college, uh, I actually moved to tight end earlier in my career, and injuries happen. And next thing you know, I'm in the backfield, and the rest is history. Um, but yeah, uh, you know, I, I like to think just kind of you know serve as a Swiss Army knife. You know, be wherever they need uh, running back, fullback, H back. Um, special teams, of course, mm -hmm. and, you know, kind of just fill in wherever I need, where's, wherever's needed. How about that, Walt Chuck? Hard hat, but soft hands. I got a feeling he's going to be catching some football. <laughs> Absolutely. I love, uh, and, and look, I think fullback's super underrated, and people are trying to take the fullback position out of the game. I think uh, I, I'm team bring the fullback back hmm. into football here as we talk with Ryan Nall, your newest Dallas Cowboy running back slash, uh, slash fullback slash Swiss Army knife here on your home of the Cowboys, 105.3 The Fans. So you did go to Oregon State, yep. and uh, you grew up a Seahawks fan, I believe, if if my information is correct. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong with that. That's okay. I mean, you grew up a West Coast guy. But were, was there anyone that you, you know, you, you, you did you always want to be a running back or what, did you uh, did you grow up playing a different position or was yeah. there anyone that you kind of modeled your game after? Yeah, definitely. Um, you know, grew up playing everything, right? You know, being just an athlete, you play quarterback, running back, wide receiver, linebacker, DB at times, uh, D lineman, edge, you know, DN, whatever. Um, but, you know, I didn't really knew I wanted to be a running back until about, eighth grade and you know growing up Seahawks fan Sean Alexander oh was, yeah was was my favorite player and I would say he kind of you know really kind of got me inspired to want to do it and you know I tried it out my my eighth grade year and fell in love with it and uh just kind of continued with it and like I said you know in, in college they moved me to H back or to, to tight end but um I was also recruited as a linebacker so I had I had multiple offers coming out that were for linebacker, not not even on the offensive side of the ball. So um, it was just you know just the love of the game and and kind of just like I said, Swiss Army knife. Wherever you need me, I'll just I'll just plug and play. So are you uh, are you the type of do you embrace contact? Do you, I mean, linebacker, special teams, yeah. I don't think, I don't think I mean, Ryan's going for the juke move. I think he's yeah, going to barrel through someone's face. You seem like you're kind of, hey, I'm, I'm not going to shy away from no. a little bit of contact here. No, I mean, you can't. I mean, you got to set the tone early, and then that's when you hit him with a little something. Yeah. Um, but, I mean, it, it, you can't not put your head down and be afraid of the contact. I mean, this is not the sport for you if you're afraid of contact, especially, especially special teams. You know, I learned um, – Early on my, in my career, that that playing kickoff return is one of the most difficult things to do because you got a six foot three, two hundred and fifty pound outside linebacker Looks running terrifying. running down full speed, <laughs> and you got to run the opposite way first, flip your hips, and then try to stop him. And um, yeah, you can't be afraid of contact if you <laughs> if you're going to be doing that kind of stuff. So I've always felt that that was so <laughs> backwards on the kickoff return. Like they're going to be sprinting down towards yes. you, and you're going to run back a little yep. bit and then turn around and basically have to catch them. That sounds borderline insane. It's Ryan Nall, <laughs> uh, Cowboys running back, with us here live in studio on your home of the Cowboys 105.3 The Fan. The most pain Ryan Nall has ever felt on a football field is what? Uh, probably high school. My freshman year, going up against varsity, you know, I think it was uh, a D lineman or whatever, and I was running the scout team, oh, and no. thinking just kind of, you know, oh, we're in the playoffs, end of the season. Clocked my, clocked my, or cleaned my clock, whatever that saying yeah. is. Yeah. Yes, and yes. Wasn't, you know, wasn't quite expecting it, but that was pr that was pretty much it. it. Was a high school story. Other than that, kind of. Kind of put me in gear and then became the hammer and not the nail from that point. That kind of woke me up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. That's outstanding. How cool would it be yeah. to be that guy who knows that Ryan Nall has been playing in college football in the NFL and he's like, no, I'm the one who's hit him the hardest. <laughs> yeah. uh, that's that's pretty dang Looking back on right it, there. he's selling insurance or whatever. And hey, Ryan Nall's in the NFL now. <laughs> yeah. you know? I cleaned his clock yeah. and he, he said it. Um, okay, so what was the welcome to the NFL moment then where you're like, holy yeah. balls, this is a different league? Um. Ah, man. I mean, just probably rookie year preseason, right? I mean, everybody's just as fast. Everybody's just as strong. Um, there wasn't like an instant where, you know, I got put on my ass, but it's like the holes filled up pretty quick. Sure. You know, that linebacker was sitting there <laughs> yeah. waiting for me pretty early. So, uh, um, yeah, that's probably that's probably the difference right there. Is there a, a favorite memory you have from playing football that, that stands out to you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I mean, 
my uh, second to last year at Oregon State. Um, we're playing University of Oregon. Yep. Uh, caught a little. I can't remember if it was a design throwback play or if I just leaked out of the backfield. Quarterback dumped it down to me. Um, I was running up the sideline. Safety came in, tried to take my knees out, stopped on a dime, watched him go right into the sideline, and kept running for about another 15, 20 yards before I got uh, before his buddies came and got me. But um, that was kind of the that was kind of the the tone set for that game, and and you know we ended up winning that game. So that was probably that's awesome a memorable moment for sure. Talking with Ryan Nall here, Cowboys running back on 105.3 The Fan. So what uh, what was the process like for you landing up here in Dallas? Obviously, we're super excited to have you here coming over from Chicago. Yeah. But uh, were there several teams in contact with you? I mean, how did you land up as a Cowboy? Yeah. Um, so un- unfortunately, um, Chicago didn't resign me at the end. Um, at the end of the season, they, they didn't tender me. So um, I hit the free free agency market, and um, you know a couple teams reached out here and there and stuff. But um, you know Dallas decided to bring me in for a workout. They liked what they saw, and and it ended up signing me. You know about a week later or so. So uh, yeah, that's kind of that. It wasn't too exciting. It wasn't you know nothing crazy. It wasn't like I was you know big you know big right. name, big contract guys nothing like that but um but yeah it was, it was huge <laughs> it, it was huge around here <laughs> but um but we yeah, read so the breaking pretty, news sounder and everything no we, we, did. we read the oh, breaking we're, we're news sounder it. it was like Let's man go. this is this is huge well we have not actually had a lot of uh outside signings for the cowboys so yeah so to that. get you was actually very exciting for us yeah. it's been a lot of re-signing or missing out on yeah. re-signing you know we had the randy gregory situation which was a little bit uncomfortable as well but um so what what is that? Because you have a a, a wife. You're married. Yep. And uh, is it a like high school sweetheart situation? Yeah. Yep. Like I Corey think. and Topanga. Yeah, yeah. We grew up. We be, we grew up together. Went to the same uh, K through eight. Um, you know, flirted with the, the the dating scene back then and stuff like that. But it was really kind of high school where we kind of was like, you know what? She we were best friends and and we we're like, you know what? Let's give it a try. And ever since then, just kept. Kept to stay together. I love and, that. And she went to different high school. Oh, I love I love. Down, yeah, when I went down to Oregon State, she stayed up in Portland, the Portland area, and she became a nurse. And um, yeah, so she's working part time right now, and we kind of make this NFL nurse thing work, where she comes to visit for a week or two at a wow. time. And, and yeah, it's not it's not you know it's not necessary for her to be you know working every single day. That's why she's got the part time gig, which is which is awesome. Okay, so, so how's the move like for you? So, so do the yeah. Cowboys set you up with an apartment or do you come over and you look for your own place yeah. or how does that all yeah. work? Um, well, with every, every team is different and the Cowboys are very generous in terms of helping us out with, with what we need. Um, so right now I got, they got me up in a hotel right now, um, you know, with, with, to see what happens with, with fall camp and all that kind of stuff, making the team of stuff, I'll probably end up, you know, looking for a spot mm-hmm. eventually. Um, but for now, yeah, they got me kind of up over in Frisco and up and up by the facility, and and um, yeah, just posted up in a hotel right now. Nice. So yeah, man, that's outstanding. Does wifey do the gaming with you? <laughs> no, she's not a gamer. She likes, she's not a new gamer. She likes the old school stuff like the Nintendo and respect, and, you know, yeah, all the Smash Bros and Mario Kart and all, all, you know, the, can't the, go wrong with that, some Mario Kart stuff. though. Hey, have you gotten to try? So I know, I know you're getting. I mean, you're looking good. You're ripped <laughs> up. You're, you're looking great. But have you, have you, have you? Uh, have you tried some Whataburger? No, that's my that's on my to do list on uh, our day off. Oh first my day, gosh. First day off. Okay, thank goodness. First day off. That's that's the first thing to, you know because I'm I'm not gonna lie. I'm You're probably gonna go guy. ham. Yes, as so you should. I don't wanna I don't wanna have it and then come back the next day and be like I feel like crap during workouts okay. and stuff. But so you said you're gonna go ham. So you've set this up. This is a question that we we enjoy. Okay. What is <laughs> The most that you've ever put down in one sitting, like a, a Ryan Nall cheat day, eating claim to fame. You know, hey, and there's no, there's no shame. <laughs> there's we no we shame, call this no the judgment, safe no space nothing. from seven to eleven. No, I am a disgusting individual, Ryan, <laughs> yeah. and I am too embarrassed to share with you what, what I have put down. Well, I'm in not. my college days uh, from 20, McDonald's. 25 Jack in the Box tacos drunkenly. Like, it was in the last ten minutes. In the last twelve months. Okay, uh, he's thirty years old. It was like two years ago now, but yeah, <laughs> uh, like two years ago. I people don't. Forget yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. I suppose. But yeah, no, there's been a lot of things no, in, in my life. And uh, so I turn this over to you now. Oh, man. There's been some good ones. Yeah. Um, it's especially right when the season ends. <laughs> That's always a good moment. Um, I've put that. So we, we uh, my wife's family loves to cook. And her, her brother, my brother-in-law, has taken on that role of head chef. And um, 
he makes a mean calzone. Ooh. But he does, like, super size me calzones. So I put away a couple of those on top of, you know, fries and breadsticks and, and um, you know, other pizza type foods and and then afterwards dessert you know cake and and i'm a can i got a sweet tooth some some candy and soda and all that kind of stuff um but i'm telling you those goes down the calzones the calzones (laughs) they're massive and put put away a couple of them but is italian your go-to is that your favorite food (sighs) either that or mexican okay well we got a lot of delicious tex-mex spots so here I, in the Metroplex. So I, I heard that as well. Um, I need some recommendations, though. Oh, we got them for you. So. <laughs> yeah, we you, got them. Endless, endless tacos and stuff around here is a no-brainer. Uh, we got some awesome. good Italian food as well, so we'll get you covered. We know you tried the Terry Black's barbecue. Yep. Two thumbs up there. Oh, but yeah. Right now, I think our sights and our heart and our minds were really just set on that Whataburger. We're very excited <laughs> to hear back from you, Ryan. Walchuck goes sweet and spicy bacon. Yes. I okay. think you really can't go wrong with any one of those burgers. Now, you All do right. know rules are rules. Three patty minimum, Ryan, which is going to be no problem for a man of your stature. No, I would <laughs> I would, I would, would very much recommend getting there before 11 a.m. so that you could not only out. get the burgers, but you could also venture <laughs> into the taquito realm and okay. some of the breakfast things. That's the beauty of Whataburger, Ryan. It's very vast when it comes to the menu. You're all getting right. breakfast, yes. lunch, and dinner all at once. And the breakfast is available 11 to 11, so Ooh, 11 okay. p.m. to 11 a.m. And, oh, no, and this is not McDonald's, okay. so the milkshake machines, it's going to work. It's going to work. Go get it. It is okay. going to work. Go get the, that the thing. McFlurries are going to be okay. So yeah. Spicy work. Ketchup, spicy ketchup, spicy ketchup, yeah, original spicy. spicy ketchup. Gosh, are you a we're spicy so happy guy? For you. Uh, not like crazy spicy. It's I can fine. handle some it's spice. Yeah, it's, I can it's handle not some over, spice, but it's not like yeah, I'm not, it's not overwhelming. This Go, is flavor. So follow Ryan on Twitter at RyanNall34. Yeah, give me some. Hit him some. up with the recommendations. Yep, the food recommendations. spots all around the Metroplex. Hit our guy up. Treat him right. Welcome him to town. And uh, by the way, Chicago. What was what was the best uh, the spot that you like to frequent the most? Oh. Because I've always Deep wanted to dish, go to Chi Town. Huh? Yeah. I haven't gone. And and Soldier Field is on my bucket list of hey, one of the stadiums I want to check pretty, out. It's pretty cool. Pretty historical. Yeah. Um, But the Giordano hype is real, man. Is it? It's real. I, I remember uh, my wife, first time coming out, she's my fiance at the time. Um, She came out and I had already had it. And I'm just like, okay. I'm not gonna, you know, when, when you know when you put something in people's heads, it doesn't live up to it, you know. Yeah, and, we just did that to you with Whataburger. I, I, mean, yeah, I feel bad. Guys, about it. It. It's, it's ruined right. now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I, I didn't want to do that with Giordano, so I was like, I'll, I'll just tell him, like, hey, this is the touristy plate, touristy place. We have to at least try it. Immediately fell in love with it, and she's like, and she do, she now she's the one doing. Hey, this is what you have to do. I don't care if it's not, it lives up to it. It's amazing. My mom, my dad came out you know, a couple years ago as well. They fell in love with it. So if you're ever out in Chicago, Giordano's is definitely, definitely the touristy, but it lives up to it. All right. So we here. So we here. All right, Ryan Nall, ladies and gentlemen, your newest Dallas Cowboys running back. Thank you, Ryan, so much for the time, brother. We're pulling for you. Stay healthy. Go get you some Whataburger. Sure. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you, man.